Who's our starting quarterback? Can anyone on this team catch the ball? Why is our defense falling apart in the fourth quarter? ECU has heard it all after starting 0-3, but in their matchup against Gardner-Webb, the Pirates shut out the haters. Second home game of the season at Dowdy Ficklin, and the place was rocking despite the rain. And this dump down pass screen to Rajay Harris collected it from Alex Flint, and he's in for the first score of the game. And let's check out some happy fans right here. Oh, yeah, they're pumped up. Harris liked the end zone once, so he said, let's do it again. In for the score. Pirates would go up 13 to nothing, but coaches always say win the turnover battle. So let's count how many we see here. One dropped on the floor. Pirates scoop it up. Kick off off the front of his pads and another scooped up. So Pirates up to two now. And let's see, can they get another one? Uh, yeah, they can. That one's on the ground too. They would force four fumbles and recover it for the game and buried the Bulldogs 44 to nothing in shutout fashion that had Mike Houston beaming following the game. Uh, what, a, what a phenomenal performance by our, our young men. Just uh, really just ecstatic for them. Uh, very pleasing to see us go out and, and play uh, a complete ball game like that. That's what we talked about all week and, and that was the big emphasis today when we met was, you know, we went through each piece of the game, you know, playing a complete four quarters. Four different players scored a rushing touchdown in this game, including Camaro Edmonds, the former Havelock star, the first of his career. ECU has Rice on the road next week. And Riley Leonard and ranked Duke at UConn for the first time since 2007. We'll take a look here at Jordan Waters' one-yard rushing touchdown. He had two on the day for the Blue Devils. Then Riley Leonard, he uses his legs and says, you know what, I'm going to go into the end zone too. You know, and how about big fella, Dwayne up. Carter. Hello, He's going to scoop this season. one and score rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Shout out to Chris Berman. Duke wins this one 41-7. to Duke has Notre Dame next week in Durham. And Wake Forest, last week they squeaked by Old Dominion in a nail-biter 27-24, but didn't get so lucky today, falling to Georgia Tech 30-16 for their first loss of the season. And Appalachian State, fresh off their victory against ECU, traveled west to face off against the Wyoming Cowboys. How about that? Fourth field goal of the day for Michael Hughes from 50 yards away. And then later on, we would see a pick six how about Tyreek Funderburk goes in. Appalachian State is up big. They would try to add a field goal here late in the fourth quarter, but oh boy, guess what happens here? It is blocked. Where does it go? Where is the camera? It's scooped up by Ja'Cory Hawkins, 62 yards to the house. No words, call it a walk off in football. Wyoming gets the win 22 to 19. And let's take a look now at Duke. Pardon me, North Carolina against Pittsburgh. They haven't played super well at Acrisure Stadium, but how about Elijah Hussey? 52 yards, a punt return touchdown for the young man. Coast is clear, get in there. Excellent, and Drake May. We, we talk about him enough, but how about this pass right here? Left-handed, but when you get a closer look, how about this? He's falling, getting torn to one side, and says, you know what, I'm gonna use my opposite hand. UNC on the verge of winning this one in the fourth quarter right now. You're seeing it again because it was just crazy. And let's go now to a game that didn't happen today, but yesterday. NC State played against Virginia where Brendan Armstrong returned to where it all began. He would find Kevin Concepcion for a 48-yard bomb over the middle for the score. But Virginia said, hold up, we're still in this game right here. He closes in this pass to Malik Washington, and they would convert the two-point conversion. But luckily for the Wolfpack, they had someone in the name of Braden Narvison. He would spoil a chance at overtime, giving Brennan Armstrong a homecoming victory in Charlottesville. And for News Channel 12, I'm Luke Schwartz, and that's tonight's edition of Sports with Schwartz.